Today is the day after Boxing Day. It's a Monday morning, about 11.30 actually, quite a late start for me. Come down to Exmoor this morning. Parked my car in Selworthy, just west of Minehead. Just for the record, this is all real. I started growing it in November. And I've kept it thus far. Yeah, I'm looking at doing a 10 mile walk today. Going out towards the village of Bratton now. Then joining the southwest coast path. Then back around past Selworthy Beacon and back to the start. As I'm saying, it's 11.30 now. Probably got five hours of walking ahead of me. Could be finishing in the dark, so that could be interesting. I've done this walk twice before. The first time was about this time of year, six years ago. I finished in darkness then, so the last time was probably three or four years ago. I brought a group down here for the day in October. This is also the first vlog I've filmed since September when I finished the Cleveland Way. I've had a bit of a hiatus from filming and that kind of thing. A bit of a break for walking as well at times. I might talk more about all of that in a separate video, but for now, I'm not going that way, I'm going this way. It's forecast to be wet today. Wet and a bit windy, as you can probably see. I sat on my bum for the last two days eating food. It's about time to get walking again. I'm now walking towards this plantation ahead of me. I'm going to go past there and then down towards the valley just outside of Bratton. This afternoon I'll be coming back beyond these hills will be the coast path. We'll be following that back towards Selworthy. You can't see it at all, but it's quite a challenging route. A lot of undulations and that sort of thing. Small valleys to cross. Although it's quite grey and wet today, it's not really that cold. See, I've got no, no gloves on so far. Somewhere down here is Bratton Court, and beyond that you can see Minehead. And that's where the southwest coast part begins in this area. I'm not going that far today. I did go down there probably six years ago when I did this walk first of all. I'm going to carry on down towards the road, and basically cross over the road, follow that track up towards the woods, and then go off towards this valley. I'm going to try and I'm going to find it, but I'm going to. So I'll basically be going, I think it's up there. That's probably the valley right there. Look at this now, you've got blue sky and a bit of filtered sunshine coming through the cloud over there. It's one of those days where it's very hard to know what to wear and what to expect. So I'm feeling too warm right now with one jacket on. Quite a warm jacket actually. I've got a base layer on and a t-shirt and that's it. And I'm quite warm, wishing I had my thinner jacket with me today. But I know it's going to rain at some point so I kind of want this to keep me dry. This path brings us to Bratton Wood. We follow the wood edge towards the valley that way. I normally go that way, but I'm going to try this part today. Apparently going straight to North Hill, which is where I want to be. That's where I'll find the close path. Indicator of steep route here. Switchbacks like this. Not far to go, but yeah, pretty tough going. Here's the valley I mentioned. It's known as Woodcombe. Last time I was here, I walked along that side of the valley, contouring the hillside. 
I was blown away by it six years ago when I first came here. To me it was like nothing else I've seen before. It was like being in the Alps, something like that, just somewhere spectacular. Join the southwest coast path. That way is down to Minehead. I'm going across here towards Bossington. It's about 12:30 now, so it's an hour's walking done. I don't want to get this far. I'm going to try and stop for lunch quite soon as well. We come to a junction right here in the southwest coast path. Ahead is the easy route going towards Selworthy Beacon maintaining height and that sort of thing over the hilltops. I'm going to bear right here down towards the rugged coast path route. It's still part of the National Trail, it's an optional, an optional kind of detour. It goes down over these cliffs, as well as an undulating route over. May it crosses three valleys in total before you get round to Hillston Coombe again. You can see on the sign here you've got coast path, coast path and I'm going for rugged coast path on this way. The main coast path now is just along here. I come away from that bridge because I spied something interesting. It looks like it. Yeah it is. It's a bench. Just in time for lunch. All to myself. Nobody about and a view of the sea very faint view of South Wales. Do nicely. In memory of Jack and Joyce Mason. So Christmas came two days ago and it feels to me like it's kind of slowly passing away. I do struggle with this time of year sometimes. Um, one reason is I seem to end up alone, like single every year. It's kind of hard to deal with when you live on your own for I've been living on my own right now for about 10 years. Um, I saw family on the day, went for a meal out, that was all fine. Yesterday I was on my own at home, Boxing Day. It was okay for a time, but you know, getting a bit restless by the end of it. This morning was hard to get up and get going when it was raining outside so heavily. and I managed to get here, which is a good thing. Otherwise I'd be sat at home, very restless, and feeling quite bad about myself for not getting out. Tomorrow, the plans are uncertain. I will try and be active somehow, somewhere. Probably doing a walk somewhere. But yeah. Then we've got New Year's Eve coming up. And that kind of pressure to kind of do something and be somewhere and celebrate it. But, I don't know. Don't always bother. Don't always feel that inclination to make a big fuss about it. I was up Sugarloaf two years ago for New Year's Eve. There's probably about 20 or 30 of us up there. That was quite a good time. There's a plan to go for a hill near Bath this time around. I might do that one. And it's the argument of do I stay up late and get to bed in the early hours, then have a late start the next day, or do I go to bed early and have a fresh start on New Year's Day if I do something? And one of the highlights for me personally this year was actually on uh, Christmas Eve, Friday. So I left work about midday. I went to Lidl down the road in Weston. Did my food shop, came out, got into my car, ready to drive off. And someone knocked on the window. Who the hell's that looking at this guy? I don't recognise him, he's got a mask on. He pulls the mask down and over the window. And it's Patrick Leach from the Solidary Rambler. He's got a channel on YouTube, got 4,000 subscribers, really good content. Put a link below. But, um, he was down here visiting family, he's from the area originally. He lives now up in Derbyshire these days. But it was just amazing to kind of bump into Patrick. We've known each other for a few years online, but never met in person before. But yeah, really good to meet you, Patrick. Thanks again for saying hello to me. I wouldn't have spotted you in the mask and everything. Um, hope you're having a good time with your family and stuff down here, if you are still down here. 
And it's like, if I hadn't left work 10 minutes late, I wouldn't have been in that position. I would have gone to a little 10 minutes earlier, come out again and left for Patrick to see me. But the way it worked out, it was like, it was perfect. It's about 10 past one now. I'm gonna press on and make some progress with this walk. Got a good three hours of daylight left. Should be enough time to get back to the car. We'll see. Hopefully you can see now where it starts to zig and zag its way up around these valleys. Quite a long walk to get here after the first coom. I think we're going straight along there, then over this path here. And this will be coom number two. Coming up next is coup number three and far beyond that you can see the cliffs going towards Linton and Lynmouth on the coast path. And it's just starting to rain a bit now. Time is quarter past two so then a good hour's walking to get this far. And down before me now is Paul Weir. Uh, the coast path continues. I'm coming around towards the head of Hurlston Coombe, where I'm shortly going to leave the southwest coast path and go back towards Selworthy. I followed the rugged coast path coming this way, and then from down here is where the main southwest coast path comes in. And now we're at a junction of paths. I mean, Selworthy is back that way, I could go that way for a quick shortcut. I'm going to follow this path behind these people and the dog uh, around Bottleton Hill. Yeah, so I'm walking towards Lynch Coombe, as you can see on the sign here. But the main coast path now runs down this steep coombe towards Porlock Weir. I've been down that way only once previously. It ruined my knees, a very steep descent. Will be my final ascent today. Heading back up towards Selworthy Beacon. And from there, it's basically downhill towards the car park in Selworthy. For this climb, it's one of the worst of the entire route, so it's a bit unfortunate to come so late on the walk. That's a good walk out there.
and I hope you're heading towards Selworthy Beacon and the trig point on there. From there it's just a downhill walk through the woods to the car park and I can go home. I think we're at 308 metres above sea level. 308. Someone's lost a dog lead by the looks of it. My first time here in at least three years. Yeah, here's the view. Down to the Bristol Channel. East towards home. South towards Dunkery Beacon and Co. And then west over towards Porlock Hill. So I now head down towards these woods. I'll find a footpath going down through there and back into Selworthy itself. It's almost 3.30 now, good little walk this. What's that, four, four hours with lunch as well? It's not too bad, it's probably about nine and a half miles in all so far. Nice to get back down here and repeat this one. For the first time in a few years. One day I'll get here, it'll be good weather for this walk. Yeah, hope you enjoyed following it though. And thanks for watching. I will see you again soon in another video sometime. And yeah, take care in the meantime. And all the best for 2022.